everyone in this video lecture i am going to discuss about interfacing of temperature sensor with the arduino board arduino uno board basically lm35 is a temperature sensor which is used to measure the temperature of the surrounding okay so first uh, let us start with the topics that i am going to cover in this video lecture hardware and software requirement if you want to in, uh, measure the temperature using arduino which kind of sensor and which kind of other components you required then temperature sensor working principle how what is lm35 how it works temperature sensor connection with the arduino then arduino code in protease simulation uh, we have where we are going to write what is the arduino code and before we implement that code into actual hardware we will first simulate that code using protease okay or uh, that is a hardware simulation we will do and final one is the actual uh, final one is a video of actual hardware implementation so which are the hardware and software requirement first so first one is the arduino uno board you can also use the arduino nano board uh, temperature sensor which i am using is the lm35 which is available in form of ic as well as in form of modules i have used the ic which is a three leg ic then led is to indicate i actually what i have done i have uh, defined some threshold range suppose sensor uh, temperature reading increases beyond certain value so led will turn on okay it will give the alarm signal so then jumper wire for connection of led and temperature sensor with the arduino board uh, usb cable for uploading the program from laptop or pc to the arduino board software uh, two software uh, two uh, in software we require arduino id for writing the arduino code and if you want to do the hardware simulation we can do using the protes okay so first one is a what is a lm35 temperature sensor so you can see the image of the lm35 sensor which is in form of integrated circuit ic which consists of three pins basically it is a low voltage precision centigrade temperature sensor which is manufactured by texas instrument okay it is a cheap it is available in form of ic which provide the output voltage which is linearly proportional to the degree uh, temperature uh, which is linearly proportional to the rise in the temperature or decrease in the temperature okay there therefore it is very easy to interface lm35 with the arduino board But basically lm35 is used in many environmental condition why because it is a fairly precise and it never wears out it works and that is the reason it works in many environmental condition and it does not require any external hardware okay directly you can interface with the arduino okay in addition lm35 sensor does not require any calibration also okay why because it gives the accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 degree celsius at room temperature and plus or minus 1 degree celsius over the range of minus 55 degree celsius to 155 degree celsius okay lm35 output voltage is it gives the output voltage based on the temperature being measured and that output voltage is proportional to the celsius temperature okay temperature measured in terms of celsius the scale factor is 0.1 volt per degree celsius okay what is that that we will understand now let us understand the working principle of lm35 temperature sensor it is available in form of ic if you will see the internal structure it will it consists of transistors okay now in transistor uh, base and emitter is there okay so vbe that is a voltage between base and emitter okay now if temperature increases okay vbe decreases and this is a fact on which the lm35 works okay so it gives output proportional to uh, output voltage proportional to that uh, that fact okay by precisely amplifying the voltage change it is easy to generate an analog signal that is directly proportional to the temperature okay in the uh, its output voltage is directly proportional that is a linear to temperature okay there will be a rise of 10 millivolt that is a 0.01 volt for every rise of 1 degree celsius in temperature okay so the scale factor is 0.01 volt per degree celsius so this is a working principle of lm35 temperature sensor now let us see the pin diagram of lm35 so it consists of three pins first one is a vin pin where we have to give plus 5 voltage second pin is a output pin that is analog pin because it gives the output voltage uh, in proportional to the degree uh, 1 degree celsius rise okay so output will be uh, output will increase by 10 millivolt if there is a 1 degree rise in the temperature and third pin is a ground pin okay now which are the application of lm35 so basically it is used for measuring the temperature of particular environment surrounding environment okay now in certain specific project it is basically used for thermal shutdown if uh, certain temperature increases it will alarm the it will give the alarm signal and based on that there will be thermal shutdown it can be used for monitoring the temperature of the battery okay 
basically it is used for protection of the battery if the battery is overheated it can be used in hvac application that is uh, heating and ventilation and ac application as a temperature measurement device in domestic and industrial application uh, it can be used like a refrigerator in ovens so these are the different application of lm35 sensor now this is the interfacing of lm35 with the arduino okay so first pin is a, a supply pin so here you can see it is connected with the 5 volt pin of the arduino and last pin is a ground pin which is connected with the ground pin of the arduino and middle pin is an uh, analog pin which is connected with the A1 pin that is an analog pin of the Arduino and at 13 number LED is connected why LED is connected so in program what I have uh, uh, the program I have designed in which that if temperature increases beyond 35 degree so uh, it will give alarm signal in, in, form of uh, in form of LED so LED will turn on okay and this is the Proteus simulation so in Proteus LM35 library is already available which is consist of three pins uh, upper pin is connected with the 5 volt and the third number pin is connected with the ground and V out is connected with the analog pin okay of uh, Arduino okay that is A1 and here at 13 number uh, LED is connected to indicate that uh, temperature is beyond 35 degrees Celsius and uh, I have also used virtual terminal okay virtual terminal I also discuss in one of my video okay so virtual terminal RFD is connected RFD of virtual terminal is connected with the TXD of uh, Arduino and uh, TXD of virtual terminal is connected with the RFD of the Arduino so that what it will do it will display the some character okay if I want to display something okay in simulation so that's why this use this is used that is a virtual terminal okay so it will do the serial communication now first let us see the Arduino code and then Proteus simulation. So this is Arduino ID sketch for uh, LM35 interface interfacing with the uh, Arduino. Okay, so this is a program. So here three variables are defined. First VL value, amp that is a uh, even pin of uh, uh, Arduino is connected with the output pin of the LM35 and LED is connected with the 13 number pin. Okay, now void setup in void setup first one is a serial dot begin because I want to display. Uh, uh, the value uh, being measured in terms of Celsius on the serial monitor, so that's why I have used and 9600 is a board rate, okay, that is a beats per second. So basically this is used for serial communication, then pin mode, uh, temp that is A1 pin is an input pin and LED that is a third number pin is an output pin, okay. Now uh, void loop that is where we will write the main program, so where which is we have already defined, where is equal to analog read in bracket temp, so it will read the status okay of a1 okay and it will give the value okay so read analog volt from sensor and save it to the variable tab now float mv because well uh, that voltage will be in terms of uh, not integer value so float variable is used so mv is equal to that is a millivolt is equal to another variable we have defined where that is the that value divided by 1024 that is basically 10 bit because we want to convert that analog data into the digital data so analog to digital converter so this is an equation so that is divided by 2 raised to 10 that is a 1024 10 bit okay it will convert it into 10 bit data into 5000 okay because what is the supply voltage 5 volts so 5000 millivolt so that will give you a millivolt now we know uh, if 100 millivolt output is there that means what 10 degree celsius is there okay because uh, 10 millivolt rise uh, 10 millivolt output is there for 1 degree celsius rise of temperature so that value Celsius that will be converted in terms of Celsius. So again float Celsius CEL is equal to MV divided by 10. Okay, so it's a scale factor. So that is, that is the CEL value is here final temperature being measured. Okay, now if you want to convert that Celsius into the Fahrenheit, so this is an equation, but I have not displayed this value. Okay, so FARF that is a variable is defined for Fahrenheit is equal to that cell value into 9 by 5 plus 32. Now, I want to display this data on serial monitor, that cell value. So, serial dot printing in bracket in quotation mark temperature is equal to. Then, serial dot print cell value. So, cell value will be displayed. Then, serial dot print in quotation mark cell. So, that is a, nothing but a degree Celsius. Then, serial dot print ln, the new line will be taken. Now, that cell value will be compared with 35. Okay, if temperature being measured in terms of Celsius is greater than 35. Okay, so digital write LED high, so LED will turn on, which is connected with 13 number pin. Else, 
digital right LED will know. So this is a conditional loop I have used. And then after delay of one second is given. Basically what for it is updating the sensor reading after every one second. Okay, so this is the code for this is a code which I have written for uh, interfacing LM35 with the Arduino. And this is the this code is successfully compiled. You can see this and hex file I have copied. Now moving towards the Proteus design suit. So here you can see the Proteus design template. Here you can see LM35 temperature sensor which is available. Okay, which is having three pin. Okay, second number pin is connected with the E1 of the Arduino. Okay, now 13 num uh, with 13 number pin LED is connected. Okay, and I have also used the virtual monitor. Okay, to display the value of the temperature being measured. Now you can see here I have set the 32 degree Celsius. Okay, so that should be displayed. Okay, I have already copy pasted that hex file file over here. Okay, and so now let us start the simulation. So here you can see temperature is equal to 32.23 degree Celsius. Okay, now here provision in this library, LM35 library, there is a provision to increase the temperature. So if I will make this 33 degree, okay, here you can see now temperature is 33 degree in uh, virtual terminal. Okay, now I am increasing up to 34 degree. And if I will increase 35 to 36 degree, LED is turned on. Okay, you can see LED is now turned on. If I will decrease, you can see now temperature is decreased. Okay, and LED is turned off. Okay, so code is successfully running. Okay, in this Proteus simulation. Now let us see the video of actual hardware implementation. You can see the different components used. First one is a Arduino Uno board, then a cable is there, and this is the IC LM35 IC, which is having a three leg LED, which is used to indicate uh, temperatures beyond 35 degree. Then a jumper wire and breadboard for connection of LM35 LED with the Arduino board. Okay, now this is a complete setup interfacing of uh, uh, LM35 and, uh, LED with the Arduino board using jumper. Presently LM35 is connected with the analog pin and it is measuring the temperature of surrounding and you can see here the temperature is 30 degree of surrounding. Okay, now if uh, uh, the heating ion is placed nearer to that uh, LM35 sensor temperature is increasing you can see 33 degree, 34 degree. Okay, and 35 degree and LED is turned on as per the code written. Okay, if it is move away, LED is turned off. If it is placed nearer, you can see LED will be turning on again. Okay, if temperature increases beyond 35 degree Celsius. So you can see here temperature is more than 35 degree Celsius. So you can see how temperature uh, can be measured with the help of LM35 and Arduino board. Okay. That's it for this video lecture. In this video lecture, I have discussed temperature sensor that is LM35, working principle of LM35, how temperature can be measured with the help of LM35 and Arduino, then interfacing of uh, protease simulation of LM35 interfacing with Arduino. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon in the next video. Thank you for watching.